interesting things have been coming about with the student loans and y'all i should have known something was going on with navient because a few months ago they had moved my student loans with navient to i think this student loan servicer called advantage or advantage and so i'm just like what was going on i kind of thought that was a little strange but now that it's coming out the navient has this million dollar settlement going on Mm-hmm. I see why. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. Hey, everybody. I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. This student loan crisis is not getting any better. We are currently in $1.7 trillion dollars in student loan debt and now to hear that Navient had this lawsuit settlement because they were doing some predatory lending for these four profit schools lending student loans to people that they knew could not pay these student loans back this is going to open up a whole can of worms and you know right now we're still in the extension of the no student loan or no interest for student loans until May 1st of 2022, but it really makes me think, I mean, what is Biden gonna do? You know, we got what, about 101 days or so until this happens. He's gonna have to do something between now and then. Is he gonna forgive $10,000 in student loan debt or is he just gonna continue to extend it? Now, back in december he said when he extended it to january 31st that was going to be the last extension but he has now extended it further to may 1st but i don't know with all this stuff going on with the student loans it's really going to start opening up a can of worms and so is he going to extend it a little bit further i definitely hope he does that but he definitely needs to he said he was going to forgive ten thousand and people are wanting to know what is he going to do <laughs> y'all he was in this press conference and they were talking about a lot of different things and i think it had got kind of towards the end and they had just literally asked him is he going to forgive the ten thousand dollars in student loans i mean what's going on with it and then he's gonna say oh we've been having this press conference for two hours and then i don't even think he answered it so it's just like the student loans even though he's still considering it it's not on the top list of things for him to do but really it should be since i would say at the end of his campaign because in my opinion biden or kamala was not really talking about forgiving student loans until the end of their campaign so i really can see why it's not on the top of either of their lists but at the end of biden's campaign he did say that he could do an executive order to forgive ten thousand dollars in student loans and here it is now a full year and he hasn't done anything so it's just like what are you gonna do and i was talking to a friend of mine last week <laughs> we were on marco polo let me know in the comments do you guys are y'all on marco polo it, I really like Marco Polo. So we were messaging, messaging each other and she was stating that she had read this article where it was stating, well, people are not wanting to start paying back their student loans again because they're trying to figure out, okay, so since they have extended it basically, what, 22 months, are the student loans that important? And even she was saying that she was thinking, well, hmm, since it was going to start back up in January, even though it didn't, should she even start paying back her student loans? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now hold on. <laughs> student loans are nothing to play with. You know, I would not want to go in delinquency on my student loans because they will come after you. Now, you do have your federal student loans and you have your private student loans. And I would say probably for your private student loans, they're going to come after you a whole lot faster than the federal student loans. So you might have a little bit more time, but it's definitely going to impact your credit score. And if people are stating that, you know, with having the student loans, they're not able to start families, they're not able to buy homes, 
if you don't pay your student loans back once we're out of this extension of the no student loan payment or interest then i would definitely start paying back my student loans but getting back to this navient you know i think that is so sad that they were doing these predatory lendings and that's what i'm saying that it's making me think that they really should tackle the student loans because i do feel like on the front end they have put a lot of things in place to where you know you can go to the two-year college for free and then you can go to a four-year college and stuff like that so they have done things on the front end but it's just like on the back end with people you know 1.7 trillion dollars in student loan debt what are they gonna do now i was reading this article as well especially with the interest rates because i would say for me i don't mind paying my student loans back but it's really the interest rate because i want to say that my student loan is maybe like 6.3 percent and it was saying in the article that i want to say you know some of the up like let's say housing interest rates and other interest rates have went down but then like student loans i think it is an average of six percent interest rate and that's just too high you see what i'm saying so that's what's eating up the payment on the student loan so i really think if they would tackle the student loan interest in my opinion <laughs> i think that would be good but let me know in the comments would you rather them tackle the student loan interest or forgive ten thousand dollars i think that probably would be kind of sort of the same i don't know <laughs> but let me know in the comments would you rather for them to forgive ten thousand or the interest rate or even fifty thousand now i would rather them forgive fifty thousand but the thing is the average student loan i want to say is like thirty nine thousand dollars so, you know, that would be pretty good. That would help out a whole lot of people. But from what I'm hearing is $10,000 would really help a whole lot of people with their student loans more than $50,000, if that makes sense. <laughs> but we're definitely going to have to see. Now, with the Navient, it really only ended up being, I think, $260 that each person was going to get within this settlement and that's really only like one student loan payment so i don't know that that was gonna like they really should wipe out all of those students student loans since it was a predatory loan opposed to just giving them 260 dollars that's what i think because that's not gonna really help them out so we're gonna see i hope that biden really comes up with something prior to May, and May is right around the corner. So we're gonna see what he's gonna do. I haven't heard anything, and especially when he was in that press conference, he didn't wanna say anything on it, but he's saying that he's still considering it. So we're gonna have to see. Let me know in the comments, what do you think that they're gonna do? And do you think with this Navient scandal, is this gonna open it up to a lot of the other student loan servicers? Because if you really think about it, I mean, even like last year, I feel like two of the big student loan servicers stopped servicing student loans. And then now Navient is not ser serving student loans. So it's just like, what is going on? So we're gonna have to see. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn your notification bell on so you will be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, it's a